Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and leave me a comment afterwards. Let me know what you thought of this, as well as know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Come hang out with me in the live chat. All right. I'm showing you today the subscription box for Punked Out Steam 2. Punked Out Steam was such a hit last year that I talked with Norella as the digital artist and said, hey, let's let's do a repeat. Let's change things up. Let's add some new things. And so here is the subscription for Punked Out Steam 2, and I'm really excited about it. This is the cover for the journal. Last year, you had a ready-made journal that had three journal pages. They were two-sided, and they were all the same. So we got some new stuff this year. On the inside, this is a stencil design that I drew. It was part of the July Stencil Club, Artistic Stencil Club. And Norella used my graphic in order to make a background. I just love that, how it turned out. Here she has a macaw or parrot that she's decorated up and then she has this light bulb. I'm going to show you something that I've made because of that light bulb a little bit later on. This side has a hummingbird and it has lots of cool designs. I've got some flowers. I love the colors. It's not your typical steampunk colors because it's a little punked out. This is another design that I drew that Norella pulled in. And then we have this elephant and the squirrel because during my live streams they're always saying squirrel because I go off on a tangent sometimes. <laughs> And then this is just a journal line page. So in the old kit, you would have got three pages just like this. And we decided to mix it up a little bit. Well, now you also get four pages of ephemera. So you get all these little goodies in here. We all have our time machines. They're called memories. That's a pretty card. And then here we've got all these wonderful goodies. Lots of little elements. Got some little words, gentlemen, ladies, inventor, a world of tomorrow, and let's see, what is that? Gears, cogs, and steam, imagine and create. Isn't that cool? And then this is envelope and little bookmark, little label pieces. And then you get two stencils. I'm going to piece of paper. I normally have that done ahead of time. You get two stencils. One of them is a full sheet. It's a gear. It's got a hanging chad. Y'all heard me on my live stream. You know what I'm talking about. And this is the full stencil. So you can spray through that. You can use distress oxides or distress inks, or you can do a gel print. And I have some digital downloads you'll need to check out. And then here is the other half sheet stencil. So you get the gears on this side that are pretty much linear up and down. And then these are kind of abstract gears. So you get those two stencil sheets and then you get lots of goodies. So we're going to kind of start with the upside. I'm going to flip this over and kind of go like this. Um, I decided that mechanic repair books would be kind of fun to use in the junk journals. And then I also picked up a Sears and Roebuck's catalog. And y'all get several pages of this. I've been very generous in this kit. Here's some more uh, auto repair images. I thought these would be good for layering and making pages out of. So you get that vintage color. You get a bunch. Can you tell that I got you a lot? This one's got some buildings, heating and air conditioning. Oh, and there's also a couple of pages out of a postage book. So it's supposed to give you the year and all that information. Well, you could cut these out and use them as little elements. Here's another diagrams. I think it's a mathematic book. I don't remember. I got mathematics. I picked up anything that I thought would have some fun, you know, images in there. Like this is logarithms of the trigonometric function. See, I can't even say it. Trigonometric terminology. See, I can't say it. Um, got you some music. 
And then I found this really fun corrugated white cardstock stuff. And I thought, well, surely we can do something with it in our junk journals. And I've got this beautiful purplish paper. You get four sheets of it. It's 24 pound uh, copy weight paper is what I call it. So you get four sheets and this is beautiful vibrant color. And then you get four sheets of this really wide, I'm trying to get it to come apart, wide grid graph paper. It's not super thick. It's kind of a lightweight paper. I have no idea how it will hold up, if it could be sturdy enough to be a page, or if it would just be better to uh, cut it and paste it onto another piece of paper because it may be too fragile. A 100 pound piece of white cardstock, this ledger type paper it's from Canvas Court Brands, a couple of 5 by 7 journal cards, or you can make four of them if you cut it apart. This little ticket, a little journal card, this is kind of a pearlescent paper, some cardstock, a US savings bond envelope. You get three of these file folders. So the idea is that they go um, left, middle, right. So you have the three different sides. Some square pieces of cardstock. Some of them will be printed. Some of them won't be. I just happened to grab these images. These were, again, something that I got from Campus Court Brands. And they didn't have a place for them. Well, for junk journals, you can cut it up. It didn't really matter that it was a factory second, if you will. Um, some cardstock here, another cardstock. I'm telling you all the trade secrets. <laughs> Little uh, lined index card. I just thought that was kind of fun to stick in for something different. Lots of little pieces of journal card that you can stamp on, you could layer on, you could do gel prints on. So lots and lots and lots of little pieces. Here recently I've been showing you how to use these little tickets. You get four of those. These envelopes may be sealed shut, so use them as an embellishment or cut it open, cut the end open, make a new closing for it. So that you get some of those and I'm rattling. We're going further. All right, I'm going to get out a big piece of paper just to be able to hold everything. So here's what we've got. You get this package of chipboard pieces. So here is an elephant. And here is the word dream. You get 18 pieces. You get little gears. You get this string of gears. You get three keys in there. Uh, you'll also get sometimes the little innards of the steampunk gears. And then this light bulb I showed y'all. Oh, it's got a hanging chad. That light bulb that I showed you earlier, I went in and took that line drawing and worked it and worked it and worked it to make it into a piece of chipboard. And then here's the B. So those are all included as part of my goodie pack. I'm getting another sheet of paper so I can show you the next amount of stuff. Can you tell that there's probably about 150 pieces in this kit? There's just a few. All right, so you get one yard of this lavender lace. You get one yard plus. Some of them may have two yards. Some of them may just be one yard, but you get one at least of each of these patterns of fibers and they'll be mixed because this was a multicolor and I was noticing that some of the wraps were pink and some were blue and some were purple so it may get what you know a mix of a couple there then you get paper doilies because y'all are always talking to me about paper doilies I got you some of this purple paper that I just thought was a lot of fun I've got two pieces of bright pink 5x5 five five square of fabric, and I showed this a while back. This is a printed fabric that I'm going to show you that we can spray it with Tattered Angels and changes the color and keeps that print. It's really cool. So you get a piece of that. You get a couple of pieces of some dark navy canvas. You get a couple of journal cards. 
or excuse me, envelopes and a journal card. So those are all those pieces. All right, so we're still got more. I'm going to use this flat card, I hope. I may need to move stuff. All right, so I'm going to use this. This is all the little teeny tiny ephemera pieces. Okay. So here you're getting some postage stamps. They'll be random. You'll get a miscellaneous color tassel. You'll get these funky looking little um, clips, paper clips, I guess you could call them. You'll get some multicolored paper clips and you get different colors of bulb pens. There's at least four metal charms in here, I think. Yep, there's maybe five. I think there's more than that because I know there's another one and it's lost in here. Ah, oh, here it is. All right. So you get like a heart, maybe a gear, a key, another key. There's probably another gear in here. There, there it is. Found it. So you get all of those little charms. You get a, a fleur-de-lis there's like four of these, um, what do you call those, brads? And then you get some beads. Oh, and there's some little, a little bitty jingle bell. It's just a little bitty, bitty bell. It doesn't really make a noise. But you get a couple of those. Sequins, beads, and flat black rhinestone gems. So can you tell that there's been a lot of love put into the subscription box and I hope that you like what you're seeing. I have a limited number so again if you want one and you don't have one make sure you get on over to my website lindaisrael.com and pick the kit that best serves you. I will have a couple other videos because this one has gone so long. I will go ahead and do a new video that will show the planner kit, the large journal kit, the mini kit as well. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing the punked out steam junk journal subscription box. That's my take on a colorful steampunk journal. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching everybody. We'll see you live on the next video. Take care. Bye.